All right, so man, y'all check this out, man. We got we got AKC French Bulldogs, okay, out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, you can contact them. I got their contact, the number, and the email address on the screen, okay. I'll actually put that down in the description where you can uh, get one of their French Bulldogs for the low low, okay. Uh, beautiful puppies ready to go right now female 3500 male 4000 i like that female though i like that one too that's a male 3200 and it's a good deal okay 3200 for a french bulldog all right yeah hit them up akc french bulldogs links below in the description send them an email out of oklahoma city um I'm sure y'all can work out some traveling arrangements uh, appreciate them for sponsoring the video and you know check them out big dog um yeah that's what it is everyday people let's get back to the video hello hey i seen you walking and i hate to have been barred but i just wanted to ask do you have do you have a vehicle no i don't have well uh here you go Joking. No, I'm being for real. No, yeah, not. I'm being for real. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, and uh, I seen you, and no, you're lying. yeah, well, she actually seen yeah. you. She told me to turn around. You're so yeah, no, fair. it's a, I swear to God, it's a fair. Pontiac right here. Yeah, so. No way. Yay! He's not, he's not joking. No, I'm not joking. For real. Yeah, it's just right there. No joke. Swear to Yeah, you got a clear title and everything. Yeah, it's all yours. I thought this was a joke. I, like, I want to take it serious right now, but I'm so No, it's all here, yeah. You're all good, yeah. I'll show you. You're lying. No, yeah, no. What's your name, by the way? Christina. Christina, no. that's my sister's name. Matt, Thank nice you. to meet you. You're lying. So this is it. So you don't have any tags. You don't have any tags. But you do have... The title? A clean title, yay! For you and your baby girl. Are you serious? Woohoo! Can I give you guys a hug? Oh, oh my, yeah, for you. sure. Oh like, can you give me some gas? Oh, I love we've got, that. We've got, we've got, we've like, got three daughters. We've got three daughters. Right like, no, you're all seriously, good. Real, yeah, you're all, all good. Yours, I'm so glad we, yeah, I'm glad we found you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, so I'm a mobile mechanic, mm -hmm. and um, the people, I do, we do social media and things like that. So people like donate. Um, to the channel and stuff like that. So I had a customer that just wanted to sell it. Uh -huh. And so I would just bought it with the intention on giving it to somebody that needed it. Yeah, so. What's your channel? Parker's, Parker's Mobile Mechanics, yeah. I have to look you up. Yeah. Oh my God. This is a joke. This is not real. Yeah. This is not yeah. real. Oh my God, thank you so much. Oh, I got you. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I appreciate that. Did you give her your name? <laughs> they didn't vacuum me to nothing. Yeah, what a good day to take a walk, huh? Right. <laughs> like, what's the purpose why I have to be here right now? Like, thank you, mommy. Yay. You're going to ride in a car now. Say thank you. I don't know my dad. Like, <laughs> dad, guess what? Hello? Daddy's suspicious. Hurry up and get here. <laughs> <laughs> he like hell no, nah, don't Will you go take nowhere. My number down so yeah. you can text me. Sure, what's your number? That's 918 918 436 436. Oh my gosh, thank you. So yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm okay. from Florida originally. This you guys have no idea. I've been living out of a car. Like I was you have no like this is not this is why I'm saying this is not real. This is not real, like no way. Pops like you better not drive that damn car to us. Yeah, I came back here trying to get like back on my feet because I mean, was a lot more expensive. Oh, I'm sure. And I grew up here, so it's like I know I can make the way here. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> I just got a job today. Oh, that's amazing. Today. Like you guys, where did you get hired at? That's amazing. Oh, heck yeah. Yes. Like, this, this is not real. Like you guys have no idea. This is not real. Oh, damn, today her day. day. Well, I'm glad to meet you, and Thank I'm glad you. to make your day a lot yeah. better. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely. Well, well, we'll meet up this weekend, and then until then, enjoy the, Thank enjoy you your so time. Much.
welcome. You're very welcome. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. This is not real. Alright, you're all good. You're all good. I appreciate this so much, dude. You're very welcome. You. You're very welcome. It was great to meet you. The Oklahoma Standard. Do you have a vehicle? Captured on camera. Oh, uh, here you go. No, I'm being for real. Christina Webb was waiting for the bus with her little girl. The bus never came, and that's when she met Matthew Parker. If I didn't miss my bus, I wouldn't have been able to go to that spot, which was so funny to me. Parker is a mobile mechanic in Tulsa. He tells me he tries to give back to his neighbors as much as he can and showcases it on social media. I feel like in my life I get put where I'm supposed to be every time at this, the moment that I'm supposed to be there. He and his wife were driving around looking for someone to gift a vehicle to. One of his clients was getting rid of the car, so he bought it with the intention of giving it to someone in need. For you and your baby girl. Are you serious? It was a right place, right time kind of moment for the both of them. Christina just moved back home from Florida, where she was struggling to survive with her daughter. You know, I had to make decisions of like what's best for me, and I was just like, I think I want to, I want to go through the shelter. You know, that could really, that's what's going to help me. You know, I don't want to lean on everybody or ask somebody. Not, not, not that I don't want to ask for help, but. You know, I have to get it on my own. Parker says he and his family have been through their fair share of struggles, too. We lived in a hotel for a couple weeks. Um, tried to, our first place was a little tiny trailer. You know, it wasn't fun, but we made it work. As soon as I started helping people, things started falling into place for me, I feel like. This is just the beginning, Parker says, for his business and his new friendship. I feel like I met her for a reason. We're still growing together, you know, her and I. While it may just be a car to some, those four wheels shifted the trajectory of Christina's life. Soon, once I kind of get myself settled and um, find somewhere to stay and, you know, save my money, I'm, th I'm planning on going to school to do nails. Parker is hoping to make a little Christmas magic happen, too, by helping her find a home by the holidays. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today, we back with another lit video. Back in the confessional, yes, we staying lit, big dog. Hey man, shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy Lucky Wheels and Deals. Man, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this video, and let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. I want to give a shout out to my YouTube friend KM. KM, I appreciate the cash app. Okay, you are the true trooper, okay? Just like this guy, Matt the Mechanic, you are the truth. All right, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. <laughs> it's, it's a great state of what? Man, I know I know y'all want to be in Oklahoma sooner so bad. I know, I know. Y'all sitting at the, in these other uh, uh, blue states with your immigrants, and immigrants taking over your cities and stuff like that and taking over your apartments and you got your uh yeah yeah your, your, uh your damn governor giving out food stamps to uh in the thousands to people and you got you got people dying left and right um just it's just it's just all bad in in your states but here in Oklahoma we got Matt the Mechanic. Yep, Matt the Mechanic is saving the day one pedestrian at a time. Matt the Mechanic has been all over TikTok and YouTube. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting someone who actually used Matt the Mechanic. And, and actually somebody sent, they said, I know his number. I can give you his number to come fix your car. I was like, Man, he's in Tulsa. <laughs> they like, oh, that's not near you. I said, no, nah, I'm in Oklahoma City. They was like, oh, okay. This was on, uh, it was on Facebook because I was looking for a mobile mechanic. And they, <laughs> they gave me his number. So shout out to Mac the Mechanic. You would have almost fixed my car, buddy. But uh, yeah, man, his social media is very, very popping. This is his profile. And these are the videos of him helping others. And uh, yeah, 
Very good man. Very, very good man. Um, so this is interesting because I, I I like to bring good stories to my uh my channel because you know it just brightens people's day, man. You can you can never not have too many good stories. As as messy as I like to be, I do like to have some good good hearted stuff in there every now and then. You know what I'm saying? I remember this one too. This video. She didn't know what was going on and she she had a uh, Malibu. And if anybody had a Chevy Malibu and you had this ticking noise in your glove box, it was like an actuator or something like that. <laughs> Everybody who drives a Malibu, they have this actuator and it just ticks, 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 ticks. Oh, y'all don't even see it. There's the video. That's the video of the actuator. It's just ticks, ticks, ticks. But anyway... So, uh, yeah, man, this is some good stuff, man. Um, y'all gotta be somebody's blessing sometimes. You know what I mean? I would love to be somebody's blessing. And, uh, that's why I thanked, uh, KM at the beginning of my intro because she enjoys the content that I bring, um, and you know she wanted to show her appreciation and i appreciate that okay and uh you know it's it's like paying it forward you know what i mean um so i think i'm gonna pay it forward i'm gonna be doing a giveaway soon um i don't know if i want to do the eighty thousand or should i hold out to a hundred thousand subscribers I want to hold out to 100,000 subscribers, but I think I just want to do something for the ones that I have now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay it forward and I'm going to do a free giveaway. All you got to do is either follow me on Instagram or Facebook, Everyday PJ on Instagram. It's Everyday PJ with two underscores on Instagram. You can also follow Everyday Thing with PJ on Instagram. Because I'm going to start doing more posting on there. That's my YouTube channel, but, uh, Instagram. And I don't really post on that often. Um, but I like to have all my YouTube people. Because if you're on that channel, I know where you I know you're from. And then I got Everyday PJ on Facebook. So if you follow those... I'll get you, if you follow those and take a screenshot that you follow those and send me a message that you followed all three of those, I will get you five entries per follow. So if you only have Facebook, that's only five entries. But if you got Instagram and you follow both of those pages and Facebook, that's 15. That's 15 entries. Okay. Then I'm going to do a drawing and I'm going to start the drawing. And I decide, because I'm pretty close to, uh, let's see, I got about 76,000 subscribers. So I think we can do 80. 80,000 subscribers I can give away. I can give away a pair of Nikes. I give away $100. And I give away a, cu a couple of custom cups from uh, custom underscore freaks. Okay, so I'm going to pay it forward. Just like KM, just like uh, Matthew the mechanic did to Christina. So shout out to Christina. Shout out to the city of Tulsa. Shout out to the state of Oklahoma. And shout out to the country of America. We're going to make America great again. Look at ass. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm anticipating what's going on. And I'm... I'm Listen, listen, stay strapped, okay? If, you, if you're watching this, understand. Okay, don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Okay, we're going to sit back and watch. This man is over here hiring people with no damn experience and nothing. You got RFK, the head of, uh, what is he, the head of, Medical, 
how you put a, a man with no medical experience, only political experience, and head uh, in, in charge of the medical of the United States. Look, y'all better stop getting on LeBron James for, <laughs> for bringing his son onto the Lakers. Y'all better stop complaining about LeBron James bringing his son onto the Lakers. Because if y'all just seen what the hell has happened to the next administration's cabinet, y'all better stop complaining about bull crap like LeBron James getting his son to the NBA. Everyday people, man, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. <laughs> Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.